Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're wondering how this auto GPT or baby AGI can perform a list of tasks automatically and in a logical order, this video will help you understand. We are actually going to use the Lanchain library for demonstration. And the reason for that is Lanchain is not only a well-made framework, but it also offers convenient method to access language models and manage memories. Even the baby AGI project utilizes Lanchain framework. Today, we'll talk about how to add memory to a chat GPT agent or a chatbot. Memory is an important feature because it allows users to have a longer conversation with the agent or the chatbot. When the agents have memory, it means that they can store and retrieve data during a conversation or performing a task. They will remember the previous conversation and any previous tasks completed. On a high level, Lanchain offers two kinds of memories. One is for conversation purpose, for example, for a chatbot, and the other is for storing custom knowledge. For example, you can store an entire 100 pages book into a database and then use Lanchain to query specific information about that book. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the conversation memory and we'll talk about the custom knowledge memory in a separate tutorial. Let's dive right in. So first of all, we're going to import several functions from the Lanchain library. I use .env and OS libraries to manage OpenAI API keys, and you can load the API keys into the environment variable like this. Let's first talk about the chat message history object, which is the foundation for most Lanchain memory modules. We can construct a chat history object like this. This object will contain the chat history. You can think of it as a list of chat messages. We can add different messages to the chat history. For example, this add user message or the add AI message. The names are pretty self-explanatory. This means a message from the human users, and this one means a message that's coming from a language model. So let's take a look at the object. And as you can see, this is our human message. This is the AI message. So essentially, this is a list of messages. So now we understand this chat message history class. Let's next talk about the conversation buffer memory object, which is essentially a wrapper around the chat message history. And we'll see that in a second. Let's create a conversation buffer memory object and we can add chat messages to the conversation. You can think of conversation as a list of messages. And note that we can add messages to the chat memory attribute of the conversation buffer memory class. So here we're adding three messages. Hi, my name is Jay. And the AI will respond, what's up? And the user will say, nothing much. Tell me about yourself. Let's take a look at this memory object. And here are our three messages. We can also extract string values from this memory object using the load memory variable like this. Note that we have to put a empty dictionary or a set of curly bracket inside this method. And this will return just the string values of all the history. Another way to extract the string value is by calling the dict method on the memory object. So both methods will return a Python dictionary just contain data in different formats. Next, let's create a new conversation chain and we'll start off by importing the conversation chain from Lanchain library. For this example, I'm creating a new memory object, which means that there's no previous chat message stored inside this memory object. And then I'm going to say hi there. And then the AI will respond. Hello, how can I assist you today? Then I go ask what's my name? And the AI says, I'm sorry, but I don't have access to that information. Can you please tell me? So see this green text over here? This is basically the prompt that we're feeding to the language model. And you can turn on the prompt by using this verbose equal to true argument inside this conversation chain. And then I'm going to ask, what was the first thing that I said? And the first thing that I said was, hi there. So let's see if the agent or the chatbot remembers that. And the AI response is, you said hi there when you first started our conversation, which is true. And it proves that right now this chatbot has memory. Next, let me show you how to attach a previous chat history to the conversation chain. We're going to recycle the previous memory object, which has basically three messages. The human says, hi, my name is Jay. And AI responds, what's up? Then the human says again, nothing much. Tell me about yourself. So we can pass in this memory object into this conversation chain like this. And then by doing so, this conversation chain or this chatbot will have memory to a previous conversation. So now I'm going to ask the chatbot, what's my name? Because this is a new conversation chain. So in theory, it shouldn't have any information about my name, but because we passed this memory to it, so now it should have access to that information, which I'm expecting it's going to respond that my name is Jay. And here it says, your name is Jay. Again, you can see this one, the current conversation. This is kind of a chat history that we're passing to the prompt. And that's the reason the chatbot will have access to that kind of information. Next, let's see how to add memory to an agent. 
and we're going to create an agent that has access to the internet. We're going to ask the agent to help us do some research. So there are a couple of things that we're going to need to set up with this agent. One is prompt, and the second is we need to have a language model chain. Then we need the agent. And then last but not least, we need an agent executor chain. Don't worry if you're a little bit confused by now. We'll dive deeper in another tutorial about agents. Now just try to follow along. So we're going to import all these functions. We are creating a set of tools that the AI has access to. And only tool we're giving the AI is called SERP API. This is kind of like a search engine that the agent has access to. So basically the agent can search on the internet. And then we're going to create our prompt. We're basically instructing the agent to help conduct some searches. If the language model doesn't already know the answer, the agent can then search on the internet. And we're going to stuff this prompt template into this language model chain. And then we create a memory using the conversation buffer memory. Plus, just note that this memory key inside the memory object needs to match the input variable inside the prompt template otherwise it's not going to work and then we'll create our agent pass the agent and the tools and also the memory into this agent executor chain so the setup is now complete and let's ask the agent to do some searches for us and the first thing i'm going to ask is what is stable diffusion so as you know the chat gpt model is trained on data prior to september 2021 so it doesn't know what the stable diffusion is and let's use that as a test. So the AI says, I'm not sure what stable diffusion is. I should use the search tool to find out. Then it goes, stable diffusion is a deep learning text to image model released in 2022. So this is what I want. But then as you can see, the agent goes on to perform uh, more searches. So it's thinking that that's not what I was expecting. I should refine my search query to better match a context to my question. And then it kind of decided on its own that stable diffusion in physics and I got an answer about uh, what's stable diffusion in physics, and this is not really what I was expecting. So the agent now thinks that makes more sense. I understand what stable diffusion is now. So now the agent come back with a definition about stable diffusion in physics, which is not what I was expecting. So then I'm going to ask the AI to refine the search query. And, and then I say, that's not right. I'm looking for an AI program. So see here, I'm not specifying what my query was so the original query was stable diffusion and i'm not saying that i'm looking for an ai program called stable diffusion but because we've added memory to the agent so the agent kind of knows that here i'm really referring to an ai program that's named stable diffusion and you can see that the thought is i need to clarify the question and search for an ai program related to stable diffusion and now it finds the answer. This is a deep learning text to image model released in 2022. And this is the final answer that the agent came back with. Next, I'm going to show you how to save memory to a file to your disk and then how to load the same file into a memory object. Currently, there's no direct way of saving a memory to a disk, but you can save the messages inside the memory to a disk. And let me show you how. We're going to use the messages from dict and messages to the functions from the LangChain framework. We're going to import that first. And to refresh our memory, let's see what we have. So this is the question that we were asking the AI about, stable diffusion. And we're going to save these messages to a JSON file on our disk. So it's just like saving text to a file on your disk. We open the file and then we can just use the, the JSON dump method to save the content. And let me show you what this looks like, the messages to dict. This will just convert this chat history object into a list of Python dictionaries. And then we'll be able to save that into a JSON file. And to load the file, we can do the same. We just use the json.load. Just note that when we load the file, we're actually just creating this chat history object. And this is not the memory object itself. So what we need to do is we can then create an empty memory object. Right now, this is an empty memory, and we can add this chat history to this chat memory attribute by just assigning it there. And now let's inspect this new conversation again. It should have memory from the file that we loaded from the disk. I hope you learned something from this video, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.